Okay, you've just started using confocal microscopy. You have heard a lot of people talking about point spread functions, about deconvolution, and maybe you're thinking, what is a point spread function? What is deconvolution? I've got a previous video on deconvolution. I want to talk about point spread functions in this particular video. Okay, so what I've got here is a Z series of some fluorescent beads and you can see them sharply in focus in the middle. They start to go out of focus and particularly at this point here, if you just look at the, the way the small bead just goes out of focus, like a ring, that's what we need in order to determine our point spread function. Now let me quickly uh, duplicate this stack. And I want to make a smaller substack. Let's just say that area there. Okay, so there we go. Let me just zoom this up a little bit. Okay, and let's have a look at the orthogonal planes. If I bring the orthogonal plane right to the middle here, you'll see that this is not a circular bead. Well, it is a circular bead, but when you look at it in the orthogonal plane, you see that it is elongated and also it has these little horns. Looks a little bit like an hourglass, but crucially you'll see that it's not symmetrical. So whilst we can estimate a point spread function, the way in which light spreads out from a single point, whilst we can estimate it, it probably is better if we model it. That is that we know the exact shape. We could look at a 3D model of this point spread function by going to the 3D viewer. Now I'm using Fiji here rather than um, the volume viewer. Uh, yeah, okay, let's look at it as a volume. Uh, and here it is in 3D viewer. And you see quite nicely there, there's that larger bead in the middle there and you can see the, the shape of the point spread function. So obviously there's a bit of elongation within this particular microscope system. Spreading along the z-axis, axial um, distortion we would call it. Let's make that uh, just for fun. Let's uh, display that as a surface. You know, it's a bit of a mess. Oh, that's because the uh, the threshold set too high. Um, let's uh, adjust the threshold. Maybe make it. Let's say fifty. See how that looks. Um, yeah, maybe a poor choice of of color. So you see our point spread functions quite nicely. We see that the beads are definitely elongated and that even though this was a really nice microscope, uh, I think this was a, a Zeiss Pascal system. Data was collected by one of my colleagues, Dr. John Pediani. A beautiful microscope, but even that beautiful microscope still has a little bit of elongation, which needs to be corrected in the deconvolution and if you want to know how to deconvolve a data set you can see another video uh, from from this channel okay hopefully that was useful and um, if you'd like me to make some more image analysis videos then please subscribe hit the like button and i'll see you next time